Okay. We failed. But I don't give up that easily. Let's try this again. I think the reason we lost that time, more than anything else, was the Cure 4 he cast after most of our main aggressive spells. I don't think we did anything wrong there, really. So let's quickly skip through all this. And let's take down Chaos. Blink. Actually, no. You two can cast Blink. You two can cast... Actually, do we want to do that? No, get them blinked first. Because that could be important. Ice free. That will do a fair amount of damage, unfortunately. Murder mostly to Shaman. Who will now... Now that he's done that... Attack, by the way. White robe. He's going to be casting nothing but shields all day. No. Well, actually, tell a lie. He's going to soon be casting the null alls, but... Blaze hurts. Well, we're now evading his physical attacks at the very least. Two damage. Ah! I hate that sword. I really do. Right, holy. Null all. Null all. Oh, no. It seems really weird, but I want to sacrifice Shaman at this point. But we can't, because he still has holy spells. That's better, 92. Another holy. 4,000 hit points to take off. If he doesn't cast Cure 4, we should be able to do it. 212. Null all. And null all. Okay. Attack. Cure four. Null all and holy. Tsunami. Ah, oh, shaman's dead. Unfortunately, we are going to have to resurrect him because he has holy spells, and we need them. Thankfully though, the Cure 4 went... well actually, yes, it will be wasted. So that was a complete disaster. He was also the one casting Heal. No, he was casting no one himself. Somebody should have a Heal free of him. Oh well, no worries. Two. Why'd you keep hitting for two? Get yourselves up to full health. Nope, you're dead. Right, let's try that again. That was... Uh, that was rubbish. And it's all due to the fact that Shaman really does not have... Uh, it's because he doesn't have a ribbon, he takes something like double damage from all of the magic spells. Well, I suppose there's one thing we could do. Null bolts. Uh, you have null ice. Yeah, correct that then. So you can actually cast holy. Because we're feeling like doing that. You can go null ice. You can go null bolt. And then you. I'm just trying to rest the null fire. But he can't cast it. Nah. Oh well then. Blink. Null ice. I want to get his spells out of the way, actually. No bolt. And Ice Free comes before all of that, so unfortunately, meh. 
Shaman takes a lot of damage. Nice. Alright, no bolts as well. And now white is protected from magic spells. And is now blinking. Okay, now that we've done that. Holy. Blink. Shield. White robe. Blaze attack. The one thing we're not really protected from, and now we're going to have to heal. I think I'm overestimating the shields and underestimating exactly how much Shaman is useless. But our first bit of damage comes in. Two hundred forty-two shields up. Blink. Cast another holy spell. Let's cast another holy spell. And then let's hope the ordering is favourable. At the very least, Shaman got the holy off first, so if he does die here, he's at least done taking some damage off of him. Double hit to uh, white. We need then more <laughs> evasion urgently. Right, Shaman's back on full hit points. And another holy. Fifty-one. Right, let's begin then. Actually, do you have any left? No. Right, white robe. That is your one job now. Meanwhile, you can go holy. Because we've got no idea how long you're going to be able to cast it for. Meanwhile, increasing our evasion is very important. Seventy-two. Bolt free coming in. White needs a lot of healing. White robe, so that's another 80 points of evasion each. And Shaman casts another holy spell. Two hundred and forty, that was a good spell. Right. Attack. Actually, no. Cure four on yourself. Four's happening. Use that. You. And go for shields again. Null all. Let's get these um, nulls up. Should really have used holy instead, really, but. Tsunami though is going to hurt. Might even kill white. Priest is on critical. White's back to full health. Right, I think healer's just going to have to cast holy then with those um, remaining spells because I don't think it's worth. I really don't think it's worth it. Let's go holy. Kill four on yourself. Hope you survive. I really do. Shield. Kill four on yourself. And I'm going to actually do a bit of save stating here just to hope this works. Shields up. I need priest and healer to go before chaos. That's one. Holy comes in. Hopefully for another 250. 250 will be good here. The main reason I'm worrying now is because I've used up all my life twos, I think. With that, 93. Slow. But it's cast on Priest. Okay, that's not as bad. Priest isn't the one who's going to be physically hitting him, and that was a good round. 
Right, I don't plan on using my save states, but I want to keep them out, keep them around. Attack. What have we got left? I think now we're going to begin the attacking. Or rather, you're just going to keep casting shield. Ah, we still have holies. We're going to save the last one, though. We can beat him if he doesn't heal. Now a hundred. Ah, no, you are not healing. Alright, I save stated during the Chaos fight. I've already lost to him once because he did that. Alright. Black robe. Shield. Holy. Triple hit, 88. And you're just going to do it anyway, aren't you? So you can see why I'm really... As much as I don't want to save states here, I have done a lot of damage to him already. At least a thousand by now. And he's just undoing it all. And we're out of our... Oh, that's better. We're out of our severe attack spells. Holy... Eight hundred and fifty-eight. Okay. So I will only be save stating to avoid a heal free, and hopefully not at all. Right. White robe because I'm still paranoid about him healing us. Black robe. And do we use our last life two up? Let's go for it. Two damage. Ugh. Miss. As long as he keeps doing that, we're actually okay. Because obviously we're not losing hit points at this point. Let's have 50-ish this round. Actually, do you have any more shields left? Yeah, might as well cast it. Might be fighting the inevitable. Ah, uh, we'll cast the holy anyway. Twenty-eight and ah, uh, ah, uh, and I'm back a couple of rounds here. Is it forty-one going to cast it? Use the last shield and. Use the last holy. Cure 4, the most annoying spell in the game, as long as Chaos has it. That was only 17 damage. Oh, multiple shields seem to be having an effect. Night 4. 66. It's a good round. Right, now it's a case of what can we do about you? Double hit, 68. Twister. This is going to hurt at least two of you. Oh, Priest is really battered from that. Okay, Black Robe. 22. Force Hammer. And Majolnir does another 27. Right, what have we got left? Right, you attack. Cast Cure. 
no. Force hammer. Heal free. Animate stuff. Okay. Hopefully that should do. 28. Heal free. Let's white back up to full. Puts everybody else back into a safe zone. Mage stuff. 18. Triple hit for 41. Kill four. This is, becoming a kind of, this is become a safe state battle now. For which I apologize. It's just cure four. Uh, did me in last time. It would do me in even worse now. If I let him cast it. Force hammer. Reach stuff. Sure, I have cast everything. Healing stuff. I realize most of everybody's at full hit points, but it might be worth casting it. Double hit, 93. Twenty-three. Counter attack for seventy-nine. Attack, Force Hammer, Major Staff, and Black Robe. Miss. So this round is all damage. 21. This Chaos has 4,000 hit points, as I've said earlier on, but. We can take 100 a round off him, there or thereabouts. Blocked. There's two useless rounds from him in a row in which we've done about a thousand. A uh, hundred, rather. Not a thousand. A thousand would be awesome, but. Double hit. That's 150. Right. Attack. Force hammer. Mage staff. Black robe. All hail the items of power we acquired on our journey. Well, they will bring Chaos down. That's three useless attacks in succession from Chaos. Force Hammer, Mage Staff, Black Robe. And that time he hit us 55, we hit back to 4. It's definitely worth having that sword, it means we can actually attack Chaos, but it just occasionally, ever so occasionally, reminds me it's attached to a white mage. Nope, not the white robe, we want the mage stuff. And we want the black robe. Doo -doo. 24, black robe. Twenty-eight. Spam number hundred this round. Twister. It's been a while since he's used one of his elemental spells. We don't like this. Oh, we really didn't like that. Right, attack. Healing stuff. Heal three. Heal two. Healer gets here for eighty-one. Hopefully that should undo quite a bit of this, but it's not going to do as much as I hoped. Hundred and nine. Good round. So that's heal three, heal two, heal one. Not bad. Attack, healing staff, healing helm, black robe, earthquake. I don't think this hurts us because of our protect rings. Nope. 
118. Uh, thankfully, White has now hit, got the uh, hang of the sword now. Why you couldn't use, why you can use this sword, the ultimate one, and not any of the ones previously? I have no idea. If it was a cleric cutting weapon thing, that would mean you couldn't use the uh, Massamoon. I'm not telling you to put it down. I'm just complaining that it should have been here earlier. Miss. Triple hit, 89 damage. Mage Staff. That's another 100 this round. That's 29 gauntlets. 28. Oops, ugh, I didn't mean to save over that one. Oh well, I'll go back up. Two damage. Pause hammer. And a block. Okay, everything we do here is a bonus. I kinda wish we had some holies left. Or at the very least, some Eevers. We could add them into the next game. Force Hammer. Mage Staff. Black Robe. Go! Black Magic will save the White Mage Party, as will Big Giant Swords. Blaze. This is gonna hurt again. Oh, Shaman took 300 damage there. Oh dear. 28. Okay, you attack. You use the healing staff. You... Should probably cast heal... Heal 4 on yourself. Meanwhile, heal 2. Oh, you are not having that. said you are not having that. I realize I've backtracked a couple of quite a few rounds here, but he is not having this cure spell. Double hit 135. Force hammer. 25. Black robe. 39 and a blaze. Okay, that's a bit more like what actually happened. <laughs> okay, so I'm not quite as battered at missing me, but he's still in trouble. Healing staff. Heal three. Heal two. Triple hit, 79. Heal 3 comes in. Tsunami. Uh, this could really do some... I don't think Charm has got enough health to survive this if it doesn't have 300. Oh, White took a battering from that. Keep white awake. That's the plan now. Cure free. And then you can counter with the mage stuff. But white has the sword. You were just really starting to pee me off with that. So white might not be doomed then. There we go. Alright. Attack. Force Hammer. Mage Staff. Black Robe. Tsunami. Ah ha ha. Ouch. Okay, that was not nice. That was not nice at all. 
Right, and I've done another video here, but we're still alive. Just. Alright, let's work this out here. What actual healing can we put bring to bear here? Kill free and shaman. Heal free. Alright, let's see if this works. It might not. He casts another elemental attack spell, Shaman's Doomed. Alright, Shaman's still up then. But of course, that's worse. I would rather have Shaman dead than having you heal your hit points. I'm sorry about that. Priest could die as well. Healer could fall. This is going to be a bit of a disaster for now. Alright. One. The corpse is healed. Yay. Everybody else has a few more hit points. Let's go for it. We've got nothing to lose now. Because we're probably going to lose anyway. Triple hit, 8 damage. Ah! You can understand it when you were slowed, but you're not slowed at the moment. Cure 4. Just keep white alive if nothing else. Triple hit, 71. Kill four. That's okay. We can live with that. Now, can we keep Healer and Priest alive now is the question. Not if you've got no healing to whatsoever. Alright, you might as well Black Robe and Hope. We'll survive the Earthquake. He had 4,000. We've been chipping away at him. We've hit him with every holy spell we had available. He's got to be closing in on death. Got to be. Twenty-two. Triple hit, ninety-one. That's a hundred this round. Forty of forty rounds of a hundred will do it. And we've been doing more than that on occasion. Mage Staff. Blaze. That's going to kill Healer, I think. And then it's down to two again. Oh, Healer survives. Fortunately, I don't think we can really afford to Healer at this stage. Double hit, 95. Four's hammer. We're gonna go death or glory now. Mage staff. Triple hit, 90 damage. Miss. Mage staff, come on. I never blinked healer looking at this. Oh! We didn't need to blink healer. And chaos descends into a pit of light. The time loop was severed at last. The battle spanning 2,000 years came to an end and peace prevailed. The light of the four crystals 
revived the wind, water, earth, and fire. It all began with a trivial misunderstanding, but it was enough to open Garland's heart to darkness. His hatred swelled with the four forces of nature, and from it were born the four fiends of chaos. Evil swallowed the world, plunging all into darkness. But that is now past, the stuff of legends. Thanks to the courage and the strength, which I can't say with a straight face, I don't think, of the four light warriors, all has been set right again. The warriors will travel in time once more. The world to which they return will be restored to its natural state. Princess Sarah, Queen Jane, and even Garland will be there, oblivious to what has happened in that time twisted dimension. But when did it all begin? The source of the chaos lay in a strand of time that looped around to connect 2,000 years. Four warriors were chosen by the very forces that had plunged the world into darkness. These four forces were key, the key to banishing the darkness as well. And when everything was over, the memory of the four warriors' journey to the past was destined to be lost forever. But their deeds will survive in people's hearts as legend. Their tales will be passed down for generations to come. Dwarves and elves, dragons, people who reach for the stars, all will cherish for tales. The warriors are returning, traveling back from the world 2,000 years past. With their memory of the journey and buried deep in their hearts, they will carry on their lives and watch over the world. Never forget, the light of this world must always be guided in the right direction. If it goes astray, darkness will come again. A crystal shines within every heart. A crystal gleams within your heart too. For you are the one who fought the battle, spanning 2,000 years. May the world be blessed with light for eternity. And that is it. The challenge is over. Final Fantasy The White Mage Challenge. This challenge began in January 2010. Around 14 levels in, really before I'd got anywhere in the game, I'd virtually given up on it being impossible. And then when I went to redo it, I got reasonably close to um, the new continent, and then of course um, I was having problems recording and decided to wait for my new computer. But even so, this is probably the longest 55-ish uh, video, I don't know how many it's going to be actually in the end, Let's Play in History. Doo -doo. But this was a difficult challenge, and there's no question of that. And Alright, I used a bit of save stating in three major places. Not least of all, this final chaos fight. But to be fair, the Cure 4 spell in that fight is annoying at the best of times. 
against our party with no realistic way of doing 4,000 damage. We had to either dodge it or it had to come early. So, this was Final Fantasy, the Origins Edition for the PlayStation 1. So, will I go on and do Final Fantasy 2, the White Mage Challenge now? Food for thought. I do want to do another Final Fantasy at some stage, but Final Fantasy 2, the White Mage Challenge. Hmm. Until later. Between the lag and the slow cutscenes, this could take a while. I apologize. The end. Thank you very much for watching this. It has driven me mad at times, this Let's Play. However, I honestly have enjoyed it. I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it, I'll be honest. So, as I said, will I do another Final Fantasy Let's Play? Yes, probably. Will it be Final Fantasy 2 The White Mage Challenge? Probably not. But we, we shall see. We shall see. As I've already mentioned on one of my videos, really, if I were to do another one, it would be too... Um, 
2, 9, or 12, purely because there's quite a lot of Let's Plays of most of the others. In fact, if I were to add it to a... If I were to, I'm not sure how many Let's Plays of Final Fantasy VII there are, but they've got to be near, nearly at 100 now. Hundreds by now. And there's better people who can do that. Six similar reasons, eight similar. So this is what I'm thinking. Two, two, nine, and twelve. And actually, I don't. I could do ten, I guess. I don't mind. I don't mind ten actually. Ten's quite a good one. But in any case, that is for the future. For now, Final Fantasy: The White Mage Challenge, inspired by 8-bit theater chaos. Link in one of the early videos. Actually, I'll repost it in this one to the. Um, webcomic which um, spawned this challenge as well as the 8 bit Fears Chaos by Sinyak who's slowly been voicing them although he has stopped recently because obviously there's editing issues and it's quite complicated but you got quite far with it. Anyway, check those out if you get a chance. I'm Shadowhawk2012 until we meet again.